Imi, great to talk to you and great to have you back in, in the side since your return from injury. And that's where I want to start, really, um, is that injury layoff. How was that for you? Because I know you found it very difficult at the start with it being your first injury. Yeah, definitely. The, the first few days after getting the injury, it was really difficult to, to go with. I just um, yeah, love playing football so much. It was really difficult to not be actually able to do the things I, I love and... Uh, also being the first major injury in uh, in nine years, so it was difficult to go with that. But uh, then the rehab actually went really well. All the staff in here, all the physios helped me so much throughout the throughout the way. And uh, of course, the ten weeks it felt long, felt frustrating, but uh, I was able to do the do the work really well, and I worked worked really hard throughout the time. And uh, yeah, now everything is. Everything is good again. The shoulder feels feels perfectly fine, and I'm just so happy to be back training, back playing. It obviously came very early on in your career here, um, on international duty with Finland. Was it difficult being in a brand new environment and then not being able to, to play and, and not being around your family and your friends and things like that? Yeah, I think the main frustration was just that uh, I wasn't able to play and help the help the team because also starting here personally I think it was uh, was rather good and of course as a team we were playing really well so uh, it was just difficult to go with that but uh, yeah I got a lot of support as I mentioned from the from the staff from the players they were really helping me so much throughout the time and uh, I actually had a lot of visitors from back uh, back home as well during my injury, so I uh, got my family visiting me, got my friends visiting me, so that definitely cheered me up as uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, even, even of course, it was really frustrating, but uh, I, I was still able to manage with it quite quite well. Yeah, I'm not sure how many times me and Scott have, have showed some of your family and friends <laughs> around the stadium. I think half the hometown's been. <laughs> uh, around, so yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pretty much. Obviously, you, you returned a, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, how good was that to be back on the pitch? Was was it easy to get straight back into it? Did you feel like you had never been away? Yeah, it was brilliant to be back. So I was so so happy to be back playing. But uh, yeah, the performances on a personal level as well haven't been nowhere near yet where I want them to be and uh, where I know I can I can perform. So, uh, but I know that will definitely come back through more training, through more more game time. So I'm not too worried about that. But um, yeah, I, I kind of thought a bit foolishly maybe that uh, the the injury break wouldn't have affected me at all. So yeah, the first first two games, especially I I just couldn't perform on the level I I wanted to be and uh, where I guess I I thought I I could play. But uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not too too worried on uh, on that and. Uh, I know it will will come back, and uh, on Saturday I will definitely be, at least hopefully, be performing really, really well. And uh, but uh, yeah, the main main thing is that uh, just help the team as as much as possible. Just away from football quickly, how much are you enjoying Exeter and the Southwest? Is it is it starting to feel like home for you a little bit? It definitely does. So a uh, lovely place overall, with uh, plenty of great great people in and around the. The club, so I've really much enjoyed my my time in here. By yeah, I live in Honiton, lovely, lovely small town, and uh, yeah, come to Exeter quite quite often as as well. A really really lovely place, so so lively, and um, yeah, overall the the whole Devon area is a is a lovely lovely place. And um, yeah, me and Will we we were invited to the East Devon Christians meeting a month ago, and um, yeah, just one example. I had a brilliant time, spent two and a half hours with them, just uh, chit-chatting and brilliant. So so many great people in, in and around the club. Uh, that there certainly is. Let's talk about um, Saturday's game against Port Vale. Um, I guess there's a general feeling around the group of confidence and belief that, that we could start turning things around. Yeah, definitely. So... Uh, the whole group is really determined and uh, confident heading towards the, the Saturday. So we have had a long preparation for the 
game of obviously didn't have a game last week and so have a good 10 11 days time to prepare for the game and uh, yeah the last game against Shrewsbury I would say need to be the bare minimum on a level we we perform so uh, we fought really well won a lot of duels run a lot so that's need to be the be the minimum and then uh, we need to be a lot better on the ball especially the final third we have to be able to create a lot more and then of course take the chances as well when they come but we have been working on that in a in a training pitch now and we'll be fully ready for the for the big game on on Saturday and um, yeah we want to produce moments of joy for the for the fans because yeah obviously there haven't been too many of those moments lately so just desperate to to get that going as well you've no doubt seen what atmosphere can be created at SJP when, when the fans really get going. I think that Reading game when, when you made your debut is a great example of that. Does it feel like if we can give the fans a real performance that that general feel-good feeling will, will come back? Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, I think the fans have been brilliant backing us all the way, even though we haven't been able to produce much lately. So... Uh, yeah, as, uh, as I mentioned, we, we want to give fans uh, moments of joy and bring that uh, feeling, feeling back to the HAP as, uh, as well. And uh, yeah, the crowd can give us such a big, big lift. And uh, I, I personally, I love interacting with the crowd in a, in a games as well, like uh, even just to get a tackle in and uh, that will immediately get the, get the lift for, for the crowd, for the, for the players. So. Uh, yeah, it's a huge part for, for us. There's a good opportunity to, to meet some more fans tonight at the Meet the Players event. Are you looking forward to that? I'm absolutely delighted about it. So it's going to be going to be great. I'm uh, always so happy when I get to see get to see and uh, get to meet the, the fans. So those are one of my favorite things about uh, football. So being able to meet the, meet the fans and uh, speak with them. And uh, yeah, I know it's going to be a lovely evening for, for sure. Just just to finish then, you spoke about you didn't feel like your performances personally were quite there yet. Do you feel like this next, mo- uh, next few months are quite big for you? Because I imagine you've got one eye on regaining that spot in the Finland side um, when they play just up the road in Cardiff. Are you looking forward to that game against Wales? Yeah, definitely going to be a huge game. But uh, the main focus and the only focus is in here at the moment. So I won't be thinking about much at all. Yet, so only, only want to help exit the city and focus on my playing in, in here. And uh, I know that if I do well in here, I will get the call up for the, for the games in March. And um, but yeah, if we briefly talk about the game in, in March, huge game overall, a great chance for us to go, go on and do the Euros, which would be a absolute dream come true for, for me and for all the Finns. So. Um, and as you mentioned, not too far away from here as well. So hopefully see a few Exeter City fans in there as well with the, with the Finnish flags. And uh, about the Finnish flag, it has been brilliant to see so many of them in a, in a crowd. It means so much for me and Will seeing them and uh, getting all the support. So it's, it's brilliant. I've got no doubt there'll be a few City fans up there for sure. Thanks very much, Jimmy. Thank you so much.